Next news is out of Tennessee, USA. A pastor tweets video of himself burning atheist's book. Turns out to be the best marketing campaign ever. So uh, a little bit of backstory on this. During one of the Democratic national debates, Ronald Reagan's son um, did a commercial for the Freedom From Religion Foundation. It was about atheists. It was awesome. Well, a pastor from Tennessee, Greg Locke, came forward and said, you know, this is proof that Democrats hate God and that they're going to destroy our nation. Um, so Andrew Slidell, he is a lawyer for the Freedom From Religion Foundation. Yay. He wrote a book. Uh, he's awesome. Um, let me get this right because I don't want to I don't want to mispronounce it. Here it is. Uh, he wrote a book, The Founding Myth, Why Christian Nationalism is Un-American. Um, and he he wrote to, to John Locke and he said, or I'm sorry, Greg Locke, and he said, um, hey, I'll send you a copy of my book. Uh, you should read it sometime because this isn't a Christian nation. And, you know, us being atheists isn't proof of that. So Greg Locke responds back and he says, maybe I'll sign it and sign it and send it back to you. At least then I'll have someone's name in it that actually stands against your revisionist nonsense. Mm -hmm. So sure enough, uh, Andrew sends him the book. Uh, and the pastor makes a video response and he's holding Andrew's book and he's ranting and raving like a lunatic in front of a fire um and he burns this nasty book of of Andrew's um and yeah I mean because he did that it got a lot of attention I don't know I think that Andrew's book should be doing awesome everyone should look into it yeah um the founding myth <laughs> it's look that up but uh now now Locke is saying and this is not in this article, but now Locke is saying that he wants to debate Andrew. He wants to have a debate with him. But the problem is what Greg wants to debate about was everything that was in Andrew's book that he burned and didn't read. He didn't so how read he it? Just, he didn't read it. No, right. he didn't read it. So how do he just read the book? Right. Then he would know what their debate would be like. Wow. Um, it's, so is he going to do the debate? I don't know. Okay, I'm actually je jealous a little bit. Um, where's my book? Why there's no God? Somebody should burn my book. This is the best marketing ever. Like, can somebody can somebody send my book to this guy? Maybe he burns it as well. Let me start mailing your book out to different pastors. Pas across the <laughs> yeah, please do that. Like, and if some of them burn it, then that's going to be amazing marketing. That's uh, does this guy know that he's effectively marketing his. Anyways, but I definitely think he should do, do this debate. That would be even more marketing. Also, we interviewed Andrew, Andrew Seidel um, on Secular Jihadists about his book. That was a really amazing interview. So if you want to see if this, by the way, the book is great. But if you want to decide if this is a good book for you before you buy it, check out uh, our interview, Se search for Secular Jihadists uh, Andrew Seidel, and our interview will show up. Um, he, Andrew is amazing. And his work with Freedom of Religion Foundation is also amazing. So, and you know, check out that book if you if you ever want to be um, armed with all the arguments, all the detailed arguments for why the United States is not a Christian nation. Then you have to read this book, right? Um, I mean, it, it goes into so much detail, and you will also come out understanding a lot more about U.S. politics m way more than before, right? Um, but yeah, please, somebody send my book to this guy so he could burn it because our sales number would go up to the roof. <laughs> but, okay, let me see. Justin is saying, awesome, what book? Uh, can we mention the name of the book one more time just for Andrew's sake? Yeah, the name of the book is Founding... Oops, let me pull founding, it up again. Founding Myth, Why Christian Nationalism is an American. Yeah, un -American. the Founding Myth. Why Christian nationalism is un-American. So I asked him that, um, why didn't he just go why Christianity is un-American? <laughs> but he said he would have preferred, he said he, that would have been more accurate, but I guess publishers did not agree. And so is saying most of these Bible uh, thumpers are, is that how you say it? Thumpers, yeah. Aren't much into reading anyway. Um, yeah, but Andrew, take that, do that debate. I would watch that debate. That would be an amazing debate, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, Shobham, did you want to add anything? No, I just think the debate would uh, be like uh, Ken Ham versus Bill Nye. Yeah, it would be good though. I know uh, most of the stuff from the other side would be nonsense, but 
those are useful. A lot of people that might come what, come to watch the debate might be from the other side. Some of them might become uh, might da start becoming skeptical if they see the other side. It it did happen with the Bill Nye event. So yeah. And Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.